Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter, Mr. Timothy Spears. Tim. Nathan. We've heard from Nuno ahead of the big game tomorrow night. We're at the Stadio Olimpico. Very impressive it is too, do you not think? No, it's lovely. Uh, Stadio Olimpico. Stadio. Grand Torino. Grand Wol Torino. Wolves, uh, Wolves tra training very hard behind us. Uh, Nuno yes. was in was, was in glorious spirits um, in his pre-match press conference today. That's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Uh, first of all, can I apologise for wearing the wrong colour? Yeah, it's uh, very, very poor from you in Torino. Didn't get the memo. Villa colours. Um, <laughs> so, sorry about that. It's a beautiful stadium, nice arena, mm. 30,000 capacity. Yeah. Um, walls will be penned in. Um, over there in the corner. I think over Can't there. really see it, Can't but. Really, uh, yeah, you just have to take a word for it. I can yeah. do that. Yeah, come on. You're over there. I think uh, so. Yeah, no, they are. I've already asked a question to the press officer. That's true. in. Mm. And uh, we're hoping for a good game. No, no, no I certainly good think game. so. One of the oh, good games. No. Uh, one of the one of the few things he said mm. um, <laughs> was that he expects a really good <laughs> it game. Was short. And he said, obviously, Torino finished seventh last year. He says that doesn't mean anything, but good team, good organisation. Mm. He says. Um, <laughs> Um, good defenders, good midfielders, good strikers. Yes, he as did, well, he say said. that. He did and say then, that. Uh, <laughs> no, he, <laughs> he said the keeper, though. The keeper's yeah. terrible. <laughs> Doesn't rate the keeper. Um, so expect plenty of shots from outside the box. Um, <laughs> but we're, we, we jest, of course. We jest, yes. Um, he, he, you know, gives much away, obviously. Uh, I think he thinks he's no point really to these pre match press conferences. Mm. Um, but he, he did have a bit to say, and he's, yeah, expects a good game. Uh, and <laughs> That's pretty much it, I'll be honest. <laughs> He's got a straw I'm clutching at you. Um, and uh, unusually for him, he said a, a tough game as well. I expect, yeah. expect, expect a tough game. So there'd, tough be a, game. there'd be a beginning, middle, and an end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. But the good news is that um, one person who obviously came off at half time against Manchester United has travelled Mr. Doc. Mm, mm, which is always here. good news. What yeah. was the latest to him? Well, there was a little bit of um, mystery as to what was it an injury? Was it illness? Can you enlighten us? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a dicky tummy. A dicky tummy. The, is the nicest way of putting it. Yeah. Um, stomach bug. Uh, didn't feel well before the game, or during, or after. Um, <laughs> so. Thinking I knew no now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, he's fine now. He's fine. He's here. He's training. He's fine. A squad of twenty. So it's it's the eighteen mm. from last Monday, plus Balejo and Kilman as your extras. But look, I mean, he went off and someone took his place and did very, very well in Adama Traore. He has travelled, breaking, he has travelled, he is here, breaking news. Yeah, why, um, why is that funny for people who don't know? Uh, because he left his passport um, in Armenia, or oh, didn't leave it in Armenia, didn't bring it with him in the UK and didn't travel, did he? Couldn't find it, no. Couldn't find it so, uh, no, he's found it now. Okay, I'm sure it's here. not a brand new one, he's definitely found it. <laughs> But yeah, Tri well, Tri Ori, sorry, could he start? Could he, could he st <laughs> Do you think Traore's done enough to start no. now? Um, I, I, I don't wow. think. No, he's done enough to start a match, sure. Tonight, tomorrow night. Don't touch me. Um, <laughs> we're in separate rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, he, he was exceptional. He was Wolves' best player on, on Monday night. But does that mean he's ready to start at right wing back? Um, against a very competent and very good Torino team in a huge match. Well, oh, Manchester United, um, very good team. Yeah, but this is different circumstances. Knockout football. Mm -hmm. It's an away leg. You know, you only get two chances at this one. And Torino play three four three as well, or three five two. Yeah. And like I said, an away game. Wolves will have to keep it tight. Is Troy the man to do that? We haven't seen him do that before. So I would say, Doc's your man. Okay. One hundred percent. If he is one hundred percent. And if he's not 100%, I would I would say Johnny on the right and Vanagra left for me. And then if if disaster strikes and you're two 0 down after mm. an hour, Traore is your man to come, come, help come and get an away goal perhaps. But I think it'd be too much of a risk to start him. So a lot, a lot of people would disagree with that, saying that you would start Johnny on the right. But you think just because it's the first leg of a tie, you, you can't win it, but you can definitely lose I think, it. I think you look. I think you're looking to keep it tight. Look, Torino only lost seven games last year. Yeah. But you've got to respect the opposition. We've not seen Traore uh, play right wing back. Um, away from home, he's really good opposition. You know, Walter on the front foot as well. He, he, he was injecting pace. Yes, mm. he tracked back well. We didn't have to defend really, did he? As, as in, no, proper, no, proper defending yeah. very much. So, um, and do you feel I, that'd be the type of game tomorrow night where we'll have to defend? Yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Torino got a win tomorrow, so uh, f for me, mm -hmm. they, 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 they've, they've got to register or, or a nil-nil or a win is what Torino will be looking for tomorrow yeah. night. So, I just think I just think it, he's better served on the bench for this particular game, and I think. Uh, Burnley at home on Sunday is the one you want to start Traore in if Doc's not 100%. Wolves further along in their season than Torino, do you think that'll have a difference? Yes, so they'll be, they won't be undercooked, but their Serie A season hasn't started yet. Starts on Sunday, I think that's definitely to Wolves' advantage. One thing you can't say about Wolves is that they're undercooked. Mm. Um, eight games is it already, is it, including pre-season? 
So um, they're at a good level, I think they're in a good place, everybody's fit, key players are in good form, yeah. and I expect them to get resulted result tomorrow night. Do you expect then the same team providing Doc's fit that starts against Manchester United will start here, and then changes on Sunday against Burnley? Okay, um, do you want to start, stop nodding your head and give me some quotes on the referees, who are the referees? Mm. Mm, there's a bit of controversy. Controversial. It's just the media whipping up a storm. Mm. Mm. That's what we love to do. Absolutely. Where are they from? S Portugal. Ooh, hello. So, Portuguese refs tomorrow night. Arta Diaz, lovely, mm. lovely bloke. Oh, right? top guy. Really good ref as well. Is he? Really good ref. Top, top ref. Really good. Okay. Knows his onions. He's definitely. Um, I don't know anything about him. Um, Portuguese and he's. I thought he's one of the top refs, isn't he? Probably. Well, he's refereeing in Europa League. Must be decent. Uh, well, there's quite a lot of Europa League ties tomorrow night. Anyway, mm. um, we'll see. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll sure, we'll have a great Got game. Got to make the step up. So he's. Um, it's a bit, bit, a bit of controversy about this. This is, Go on. this is not the country to do this in, you know, or not the city to do it in. Mm. Seeing as you know, Juventus were relegated to Serie B 13 years ago after the, the refereeing scandal. Uh, in this country, yes. uh, which affected Milan and Fiorentina and lots of other clubs as well. There was accusations for decades in Italy about bribery, mm. corruption to do referees and bias. It's, it's, it's do you a, want to expand on that? Well, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's, just it's, it's constantly in the background here. Mm. Um, this is what fans in Italy always think of, yeah. is that the refs are bent, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so what they... What, and like I said, this city in well, you know, you, as well. They're not, really not getting an Italian ref in this game, are they? That's what I'm saying. So, you're always going to be neutral ref. No, but my point is that, that um, they're going to... Well, Matsari, um, Torino's manager, wouldn't, Walter. wouldn't be drawn on it today. So he'll speak about it after the game, maybe. But um, What if he gives a penalty? They, they, won't be, they won't be happy about it because you've got... Wolves have got seven Portuguese players, mm -hmm. of whom six have travelled. Um, they've got a Portuguese manager and several Portuguese backroom staff. So Nuno insists that Wolves all speak English and that's the, English, that's the language that they always speak. Yes. Um, but it's, it's going to be a benefit, isn't it? If Matinho starts talking to Diaz in Portuguese, yeah. then um, I don't know, it's just. Uh, or gives them the. It just, it just gives them better communication, that's all you can say. Yeah, but referees are referees, they're professional these days. I, I mean, agree. come on, I mean, I don't think it have any bearing whatsoever. Completely agree, but it'll, it'll, if Torino lose and get a couple of dodgy decisions against them, that's, that's all that they'll be talking about. Right, okay, but like you say, Torino, um, you know, pretty good, damn, damn good side on their own. Yeah, they've got. Um, Belotti and Zaza are a couple of really competent Italian internationals going forward. Belotti's been here a few years, he's, he's the hero of Torino. Um, and a number of, co of competent, very competent internationals. They only lost seven, seven times last year. Four of those were to uh, the, the, the giants of Italian football like Roma. And Wolves don't find it easy. No. They're hard to beat, they're organised, same shape as Wolves. Really tough test. Mm -hmm. um, vociferous home crowds, like I said, Torino got to get a result tomorrow night to take to Molyneux next week, so it won't be easy. And, and Wolves, you know, uh, I, I know it's, it's a good thing that they, they had a good second half against Man United to gain some momentum, but yeah. also they've got to be a little bit tired. All that energy, and mentally and physically expended on, on Monday night. And a Monday to Thursday as well, it's not just a Sunday, it's an Monday extra day. Monday to Thursday, travelling, yeah. you've got the Burnley game in your mind as well, so there's, there's no time for relaxation. Yes, they're all, they're all professionals and they're all very good at their jobs mm -hmm. and the preparation they do is exceptional. Mm -hmm. But let's hope it doesn't affect them tomorrow night. This, this uh, yet another quick turnaround. But look, they they play on the big stage. They enjoy playing mm. on the big stage. Yeah. They've got the big game players. Yes. This kind of suits them, especially if, if um, Torino are going to go at them. They're like mm. counter-attacking. So really, it's kind of built for the game what they do very well in. I agree. I think they'll do very well tomorrow night. So what would be a good result tomorrow night? I mean, obviously a win. But you know, if you if Nuno said right, yeah, I can give you a score now. What would it be? A, re a realistic take? score. Realistic score. I'd love a little two-one away win. Okay. I mean, it, it, uh, would a one-one? If you said to Nuno now, I'll give you one-one tomorrow night. Would he take it? Yeah, he's here. Get him. Take him away. Uh, would he take that? Yeah, I think he would. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, th I think they back themselves to win at home. Who knows what Wolves can do tomorrow night? It, it depends. I mean, Torino, like Wolves, in the last two rounds of this competition, are very, very easy opposition. Terrible opposition, really, really poor teams, and they've swatted them aside mm. like Wolves have done. So um, it's hard to hard to judge where they're at at this point on that form. You never know. Wolves went to Everton last year and won three one. Mm. Easy, yeah, they look easy. Perfect yeah. away performance. They've yeah. got it in them. If they can do that tomorrow, fantastic. If they can get a handsome win and then they can rest some players in this in the middle of this five game five run run of five games for fourteen days. It's hot, man. It's hot. Run five games in 14 days, starting with that Man United game on Monday. So it's an intense period. He'd love to be able to rest them for the second leg next week. But more realistically, get a result, get them back to money and finish the job.
It is Torino against Wolves at the Stadio Olimpico, 9 p.m. local time, 8 p.m. UK time. For all the build-up on this one, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.